Everything that followed Hurricane Harvey was just the latest in a series of floods in our area that has people concerned about their homes and, of course, the next rain. Tonight, experts are meeting trying to figure out a possible countermeasure for another flood event. Channel 2's Keith Garvin was at that meeting and spoke with flood victims who are hoping for a solution. Keith? Dominic, that forum is just now starting to wrap up here at NASA tonight, and the sentiment here is not if but when when it comes to the next major weather event in the Houston area. The discussion tonight was about being prepared. A meeting of the minds at NASA tonight to discuss a major occurrence that has been on everyone's mind for the past few months, the impact of Hurricane Harvey and the devastating floods that followed. More than 100 people turned out for this floodwater forum, including Fred Swerdlin of Clear Lake. He's been hit by Harvey, the Memorial Day floods two years ago, and Tropical Storm Allison in 2001. 2001, I took three inches. 2015, I took three inches. This time, I took five inches into my house. And it's getting tiring doing remodeling each time. The discussion amongst a panel of experts began with how we may have gotten to this point. Opinions varied, but included climate change, legislative policy, and development in wetland areas. That uh, juxtaposition of development patterns with wetland and habitat loss are two things that have led to where we are um, given our recurring flooding issues. But the forum was also about potential solutions. The reports are that it's going to intensify and get worse, so we're going to have to do more than just get out of the current situation. We're going to have to sort of get ahead of the ball game. In other words, this likely won't be the last time the Houston area witnesses a widespread weather event. But there are practical steps to take to prepare for that possibility. Elevating houses, even things like rainwater cisterns, rain gardens, rain barrels. There are a lot of things that, um, a lot of strategies that homeowners can employ in the future. And that coupled with those larger regional projects focused on detention and green space and green infrastructure, all of those things are kind of a, a toolbox of strategies that we need to develop. And hey, one word we heard several times tonight was resiliency. The panel believes that our community is going to have to become resilient and also creative to deal with any future weather events that come our way. Reporting live from the Johnson Space Center, Keith Garvin, KPRC Channel 2 News.